Time to cover the draw shot. Um, you can play a hook relatively easy. You can close the face a lot. You'll swing into out. You'll see a lot of instruction pieces on that one to try to swing a ball miles, and that works. But what that changes, and it changes quite a bit, is the height of your ball. Because you put the ball, I guess, uh, back in stance a little bit and close your face, your ball's gonna really come in lower and run a lot, okay? So the shot I'm gonna teach you today is a draw, right? But yet again, like the early in the series with the fade, we're gonna to learn to play it a bit more specifically, okay? So I'm gonna get you to set up to this ball mm. just naturally, Dames, straight down the target line. Now this here. is a really unnatural shot for me. I've... Yeah, because you, you're normally a smooth fader, aren't you? Yeah, right? That's very smooth. Very... <laughs> Being very nice, uh, very smooth fader. So just set up for what would customarily be a, what it's called a straight, straight shot, right? Yep, there it is. So you'll notice here, hips are parallel, knees, feet, and shoulders, all parallel to target, and so is face, which means that if he does everything right, he's gonna start the ball pretty much down the target line if the club path is, is corresponding to, to straight down the target line, okay? So that's fine. Now to draw the ball, right, what you can do is literally change one element and that's just your club face, okay? So you don't really need to change anything much, you can just change your club face. And if you swing on that line, what will happen, just set up for this, Dames. I'm gonna show the viewers this one, right? And I'm gonna get you to change your club face a lot here. So shut your club face, yeah, exactly. Now re-grip it. Right? Now just for fun, <laughs> keep hitting down your target line here, right? but commit to that closed face and just don't, don't even try to do anything different. You just want me to hit, hit it? Just hit it, absolutely, just hit it. Beautiful. <laughs> Who's Magnificent, straight out of bounds, right? And that's what I wanted him to do because camera will pick this up, but he started the ball and a little bit left of the target, but he swung at the target and that's because the face is closed. So when you close the club face down, a little bit more than the fade shot where you opened it up, the, the ball will react a little bit more, let's call it um, uh, initially, a little bit more obviously. So it'll go left harder and quicker than you think, right? When you open a blade, because it's open, it's got more loft, right? So the ball will go right, but it'll start higher. It so goes like, later. It yeah. goes later, right? So, so what I'm getting at here is when you open a blade and close a blade, you get more of a reaction straight away in the first bit of your flight from a closed blade than what you will with an open blade, just a little bit, okay? So what, what the, the tip I'd, I'd give um, anyone here is when they're aligning with that slightly closed blade, just understand that your target line will change significantly to start with, all right? So we're gonna get another ball. We're gonna do the same thing, all right? We're gonna, here's one we prepared earlier. Put it down here. So this time, Dames, once you set up, Okay, so up squarely, everything down your T again. Everything down the line, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna get you to change two elements now. I'm gonna get you to move the ball back about half a ball to a ball's um, width back in your stance. Beautiful, why? So that your swing arc meets the ball earlier. Now, if you read about deplaning, you can go away and do that, viewers. It's got a lot to do with how early you'll hit the ball and where it'll start. So if you put the ball too far forward when you read it deplaning, you'll already start it to the left more anyway. So go and research on, on deplaning why. Right. Yeah. I'll just take my word for it, right? So when you go back in your stance with a ball position, you're gonna hit the ball earlier on the arc, which is gonna negate your left shot straight away, right? So that's a big point of playing a draw. Put it back a little bit so that it negates the left shot. So that's well done, you've done, put your ball back now. Now just minimize the, um, the closure on the face. So set up again, just a little bit closed, okay? Is that enough? That's enough, right? So now all things equal, you've got the ball back in your stance, right? The club is closed a little bit, but I want you to still hit now straight down your target line. So don't change anything here, just sit straight down your target line the way you go. Oh, got it a little bit thin. But fat, right? Oh, fat, sorry. Yeah. But it drew and started straight, yeah. right? And that's worth noting. Got a little heavy, okay? So we all make yeah, errors right with, with ball striking, right? But the shot shape was there, right? So he still hasn't caught himself in any trouble. And it started over his line a lot more, okay? So in terms of start lines, you got to pick a really precise start line. So that's an important part of this is really pick a start line. So you might need to adjust your alignment when playing a draw because start line is everything. But note that the ball change going back and only a slight change in club face will help the ball basically draw more yeah. anyway because of the way the D plane works, okay. okay? So now you've set up slightly right of target, still swing the same, right? And just, uh, yeah, blow the doors off it. Beautiful. High draw, that's the way. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> Glad you've hit that up in here. I've got the draw going. Got the draw going. <laughs> right, so he's basically hit that, obviously, exactly where we wanted. Slightly started right on the target and then swung. So in, in summary, put your ball back a little bit. Still concentrate enormously on start line. Shut your face just a tiny bit, but commit heavily to where you want to intend to hit it.